I was drawn to using dance in film way back in 2010. I made a film with RTE, Dance in the Box, called Her Mother's Daughters, and that was my first time working with a choreographer. And um, I really enjoyed making that film, really enjoyed working with that cast. Um, and I suppose, yeah, it was kind of a, a journey of discovery, mm. um, how much you could communicate um, through the body and I suppose how you could sort of create a bit of a suggestive narrative working with the body um, in space. We communicate with our bodies all the time, I think, um, where, you know, the body's very expressive of emotion and, you know, we talk about body language. So, um, and sometimes we have certain kind of internal experiences maybe that are hard to put into words. I think um, the camera is very good at observing those. Um, so yeah, it, it's, it, it, it's a way into the experiences we have as humans. And I suppose developing that language in tandem with you know, where you place the camera and the mise-en-scene and the rhythm and, and, and the idea of choreography being in the edit as well, um, I think is, is, is there for all films. Uh, I've made an Arts Lives uh, documentary about an artist and I thought um, I would try and the next one would be about another dance uh, art form and I, I thought yeah maybe dance. So as I was doing the research I, I was uh, visiting uh, dance studios and I noticed people dancing behind uh, you know in the background. I thought, I thought that's really lovely and it would be really nice to shoot. When it did come to shoot it, it was very rewarding in itself. It was really lovely working with dancers and uh, just trying to capture that, sort of, particularly in modern dance, trying to capture that physicality and dynamics and you know, use of gravity and force, primal force, was really lovely indeed. Anyone working in film really loves to collaborate because it's such a collaboration at different stages and you've so many partners along the way. I'm, I've worked with some really terrific choreographers and you know, they've become friends but you know, by working with the same people again and again you kind of develop a bit of a, a shorthand and I really look to the choreographer um, to, to offer you um, options really and give feedback too so it's a two-way process. You, know, you ask yourself a, a question in the beginning, you know, are you going to shoot the dance as it's been choreographed for stage or are you going to try and, and get the camera involved in the dance and therefore create or affect the dance and change the dance a bit. The choreographer is kind of an unusual relationship. It's, it's like having a scriptwriter on set, which isn't very normal. Or it's also like having the art director on set. So it's like having an art director and a scriptwriter and one person standing beside the director. Um, I'm really excited about using choreography um, as a way to tell stories, um, uh, developing it as a language um, within maybe a narrative feature framework. Loads and loads of things that dance lends itself to filmmaking and filmmaking lends itself to dance. So there is a harmony there, there is a coming together, you know, coming together of the two, the two disciplines.